Moving on to other stories now. Chinese warplanes crossed into Korea and even Japan's air defense identification zone on Monday. Though Beijing says it was a planned ordinary drill, what's puzzling is the timing. Just two days after President Moon completed his state visit to that country, our defense ministry correspondent Wu Jung Hee provides a closer look. Five Chinese warplanes entered Korea Air Defense Identification Zone on Monday for what China is calling a, quote, ordinary drill. According to South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, two H-6 bombers and two J-11 fighter jets appeared from the southwest of Korea's Yeodo Island. They flew into Korea's air defense ID zone and the area where the zones of South Korea, Japan and China overlap. The planes reached the Japanese zone and then returned to China. One TU-154 reconnaissance plane that flew for two hours went even farther east, up to waters of Japan's central Kanazawa city. South Korea dispatched aircraft for surveillance immediately after the planes were detected. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff say the Chinese side has told South Korea over the military hotline that this is just a routine exercise and that it won't be entering South Korea's airspace. But the exact intention of China's flyover is still being analyzed. China's defense ministry also announced that this was a planned exercise and did not target any specific country or region. But speculation is rising as to why the flights had to take place just after South Korean President Moon Jae-in wrapped up his visit to Beijing. All military actions have political implications and it's been only two days since President Moon came back from China. China is taking a two-track approach that it won't step back in security terms even if Korea-China relations are recovering. Chinese military planes have entered Korea's air defense zone multiple times since China unilaterally declared its own such zone in 2013, which overlaps with parts of Korea and Japan's zones. The last time was in early January this year, when 12 warplanes crossed into the South Korean zone. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.